Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynut and welcome back to Tales from the Borderlands. We're gonna go straight into episode 3 to continue our epic story. And episode 3 is called Catch a Ride, so we'll probably see a bit of uh, Scooter again, I guess. Here we go! Back so soon? What's the rush? Okay, okay, sit down, shut up, and pay attention. The misfit vault hunters had discovered the secret location of the Gortis project, but getting there wouldn't be easy. Hyperion had not forgotten about their renegade employees, and the native Pandoran wildlife was uh, just getting to know them. They escaped with their lives, but not much else. Out in the wasteland, the former middle manager discovered Handsome Jack riding shotgun in his brain while having a shotgun pointed at his head. Fancy meeting you a precarious position, to be sure, but nothing compared to the con artist. The price on her head had attracted all kinds of thugs and gunmen. You'd think that would have been the end of her story, but hey. You never know when a polite reprogrammed killing machine will drop in and save the day. Was she bothering you? Back on the trail of the Gortis project, they found a wondrous hidden city, risen from the corpse of a ghost town. But unfortunately, their moment of awe and victory was to be the advantage of their opponents. <laughs> Taken hostage and forced to surrender the keys to the kingdom, they had to go all in on one last gamble. This chapter of the story begins with the questionable choice to trust Handsome Jack. Because we trusted our lives to a maniac hologram. But first, a glimpse of the future. So... Oh, Fiona's even driving. So... You chose a bona fide nutcase over Fiona? Yes, he did. Uh, kinda overestimating Fiona's sanity with that statement. Being around you would make anyone nuts after a while. I'm starting to get that. I, I'm sorry, are you guys teaming up now? Cause I kinda feel like you are. <laughs> Why did you choose Jack? When all of Pandoran recorded history would tell you, it's because a he had a plan. We can capture the bots that way. He had a plan, plain and simple. Hey, I had a plan. It wasn't the greatest plan, sure, but it was better than trusting Handsome Jack. Being able to control the facility seemed like the way to go. You chose Jack because you're an idiot. There's no other explanation for it. No, thank you for that. One. Okay. Flat tire again. I don't well, suppose there's a spare for the spare. Well, if there is, I'm not changing it this time. We're close. We can walk it from here. Where the close hell is here? What? Yeah. And why is it where we are? I'll tell you when I find what we're looking for. Okay, we get it. Take it easy. Still wondering who that is. So, what happened next? <laughs> well, things started out fine. Fine. <laughs> Hail to the king, baby! <laughs> okay, there we go. Hey, kid, what are you doing? You mean, I'm controlling the drones? Yeah, well, <laughs> with my help, but yeah. Let's get killing, Cupcake. Okay. Grace? Come on. Oh, Smack the window. We have to get up there. Get us up there. Yeah. Sasha! Get us up there, Reese. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Come on, come on, let's go. Sasha, okay. Vaughn. You made the right choice, kid. I'm really proud of you. 
Don't let it go to your probably hand. easier to do this than whatever Fiona's plan would have been. Okay, down goes August. <laughs> oh shit. Waterbot, I need your help. Oh crap. My loader bots on the other My team. Turn. Okay, what's Jack going to do? Hey, hey! Get ready to lick my boots, you raging douchebags! <laughs> wow, mayhem ensues. That uh, right, enough of this. Didn't work out the way I planned. Okay. I think Chuck needs to be. Uh, He's, uh, More careful. He's a little on the dumpy side, but I, it, it seems like it would be a good fit for you. <laughs> oh, it's a shock box. Oh, cool. <laughs> you need to get Vaughn. Yeah, let's go get Vasquez. Get him, dump. Okay. What's with the funny noise? <laughs> Two. Okay. And then he gets riddled with bullets. Hi, loader bolt. Uh, uh, that's right. Uh. No, dump, dump. Ah! Okay, I hope he just retrieves his mind. Okay, he's back to you. Great. No, no dumpy. Oh, poor little guy. I'm taking you with me. For some reason. Okay. The beat. This is so cool, right? Did you guys see me? I mean, how cool I was. <laughs> what now? Calm down. Uh, Man, your gun. We no, fight our way out. You do not need a gun. We fight our way out, or you know, some of us do. Some of Motorbot us know everyone. Peace. Uh, okay, there hey, he goes. Can you help us out? Yes. Shall proceed. <laughs> Bam. Okay, yep. Whoa, buddy, are you uh, Oosh. <laughs> hands are for the record, On the not ass. my idea. Pushing his ass. Oh. Come on. Oh, yeah, okay, shoot the shoot the ankles. <laughs> Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. Bam! That's in the other turn style. I think it looks so good. Goodbye. Uh, who the hell is that? Uh, those two mercenaries. Motorbot, pull up! Pull up! Okay, that didn't matter apparently. No, the Cortez project. Okay, that's Valerie apparently. Felix's old pal. Let's accept. Be nice for now. We don't know anything yet. Thanks. 
Don't mention it. Okay, that's a bit less friendly. You the leader of this outfit? Hey, you all right there, buddy? I've had it worse. Oh, uh, right, nope, not the... really. Yeah. For a team. Nope. I just landed closer to you. There she is. You remember me? Yes. Great. These jackasses. Oh, Finch. She remembers, all right. You look different. Oh, yeah. You look, uh, different. I look different, because you made me look different. <laughs> yeah, man, she knows. She's messing with all you, right, dude. Oh, that's enough. Calm down, Finch. She's the one that burned up my hair. Oh, come on, dude. As you asked for it. You still got a little left? Please, just... Just let me shoot that girl back in the, in the truck. Just You're being a nuisance. Or you could just kill him. Me too. But man, I didn't even. I... Man. What do you want? So what, what is want? it that you Being want exactly? Uh, silence. Apparently. Fee. Fee. Mm. I see why you're Felix's favorite. Ah, oh, there we go. Don't be surprised. I've known about you two for as long as you've been lifting watches. But I'm out ten million bucks cause someone turned a simple deal into a complete shit show. Someone has to pay for that. Uh, <sighs> Looks like we fault. have a couple new contestants. This isn't good. Okay, okay, I know how it looks. Things got a little messed up, but- Shut up! I'll deal with you later. I just want to say I had nothing to do with this! Uh-huh. Who's to blame here, Fiona? I want Ooh. a name. Calm down, Hugo. No! no. I just- Vasquez. Oh, I just go her, on. No, she's she's gonna say it, it was my asshole. fault, man. It's not face. Vasquez. Vasquez. He's the one to blame here. Did she say me? Really? And none of this would have happened if he hadn't screwed up the deal. Oh, she's lying. She is lying, Valerie. Please. Oh, yeah, and so will Vasquez. Me. It's not my fault. Look, I know you're super pissed, but we've got the Gordy's thing, and it is going to get us a vault that is worth way more than 10 million bucks, just like we told you. Everything is fine. We're fine. Wow, he's panicking. So this is what all the fuss is about. Yeah. Yeah. That's our little money maker. Huh? Then I guess I don't need you anymore. Oh yeah. What? Goodbye, oh, Vasquez. Man. Bam! No. <sighs> okay, goodbye, Vasquez. I think he's got a little hole in his chest. I suppose I don't need any of you. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, make her head spin or cut her out of the deal. Make her head spin. Okay. What the fuck? Ah, oh, they're dreaming again. Heads up. I thought it was a flashbang grenade. Okay. Uh, it is. That's not how it works. And that's not how it went. She put that gun in your face and you would all... Keep talking. The truth this time. Fine. I love it how they put those Where was I? pieces in there. <laughs> you were in the middle of this. I was getting Gordas back. By staring off into the distance. Oh, fuck. Did I do anything about that? Oh, there's Athena. Wait, she's helping us? And her red eyes are dull. Ding, 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 ding. Ding. Awesome. Goodbye, Valerie. And that's gorgeous for us. Oh. Not here. We gotta go. She lost her glasses. Bye, Valerie. See you next time. This isn't over. Yeah, probably You're the not. one leaving. Looks over to me. No, it'll feel much different than this. I let you know when it happens. 
Station. Okay, that was a serious threat. Tell me, are you all just completely stupid? We? Oui? Are you here for Gordas? You're not getting Gordas. What? What? I am here to help you. You idiots! Okay. She's a bit pissed. Oh. Then why were you trying to kill us in the previous episode? Why is he poking Vasquez this with This is stick? easily the most annoying contract I've ever taken. Oh, at least if it was an assassination, I'd have the pleasure of a kill at the end of it. Oh, well, I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. Who even hired you? A man named Felix. Seriously? I normally don't divulge that kind of information, but he wanted you to know. Why he did Felix you hire you? What did he hire you for, exactly? Felix wanted me to pass along some knowledge, to mentor you, to help you survive. He felt you two had some untapped potential. You couldn't have told us this earlier? And you're it's not to kill exactly us? something you scream down an alley when you've got Valerie's goons running around. My work requires some discretion. Oh, a discretion. Shield at us? When you say that, are you referring to the part where you were chasing us through Hollow Point, trying to behead us with uh, your shield? We'll be friendly if I wanted for now. to behead Thanks you, for helping it would us. have happened. Whoa, don't be mad we got away. Thanks for stepping in with Valerie. Sure. Don't mention it. Of course, she will remember that. Look, I know you two have been through a lot, but I assure you I'm here to help. And I don't anticipate that'll be very long, because when I feel the contract is filled, I'll be out of your lives. So let's just get through this. Okay. Well, welcome aboard, I guess. That was pretty Thank vague. You. So, uh, is he alright? Because that's not normal. It's his That's first dead body. For ya. Yeah, I I don't think he's seen a dead body up close before. Lucky him. Oh yeah, he's he's just going through some stuff. <laughs> hey! Huh. I'll do that. Stop poking it with a stick. <laughs> oh yeah. I think I got something. What you got? Okay, I don't know, on, but I, I found out there's an on button somewhere. You've been looking at that thing for like 20 minutes. Well, it's apparently very small. Okay. Seriously? That's not very small. Initiating go to startup sequence. Energy chassis required for vault of the traveler protocol. Loading energy chassis. For energy chassis. Okay. Happy birthday. What? Happy birthday. Oh, that's adorable. Really great to meet you all. Very excited to meet you, older than she looks. I think I was expecting something um, different. Not I'm sorry, you disappointed? No, no, we're not disappointed. No, it's not that. Hi, Gordis. Welcome to the group. Thank you! I'm so happy to be here! This is all really exciting! Awesome! <laughs> awesome! 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 Okay, oh, it was awesome. a robot this whole time! Yes, I am! That makes sense! So that we're gathering quite yes, the robot army. Oh, um, cool! You got another robot! It's very nice to meet you! We've got some lost Dango? damage. It's a mixed bag. That's great. What Variety do you do with you? So Gordis, hi. 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 What are we supposed to do now? Well, that depends. I take it if you activated me, you'd like to get a vault. Yep, yes. That, that's the that's the thing. Please do that. Great. Yeah, great. Now, I don't know every detail. But I was created by Atlas as a last-ditch effort to get to the riches of a vault to get a leg up on those Hyperion guys. Those well, Hyperion yeah, guys. Number one. Atlas had facilities all over Pandora working on the pieces of me to get it done faster. But then that lady, 
made it a little more difficult to assemble by killing every Atlas employee. <laughs> well, uh, how many more pieces are there? No, that was dark. But the next piece we need is. Uh... Oh, that away! So Gordas is a Volt GPS. Uh, lead the way. Okay, let's do this. Great! Oh, Great! Up and at him. Okay. Well, who's gonna tell him he's dead? Uh, Gordis? Hmm? He is, um. Um. He seems like a child. Won't tell him he's dead, but he's not feeling well. Oh, he's got, um, some stomach issues. <laughs> That's pretty oh, good, lightly. I can see that. <laughs> I can well, see that. Hope you feel better. Okay. So yeah, we got three robots now. If you're kind of dumpy. Hey, is there a radio in this thing? Radio? Uh, so I'll probably have to cut out that music again. I'm sorry, guys. Seems a bit like a road trip. A bit of a calmer intro than before. So, uh... They seem to have some time off. Oh, he's repairing Dumpy. <laughs> oh, take a ride. <laughs> okay, target practice. <laughs> okay. Ah, that's the thing from Borderlands 1, the digger. Hey, eggs. Green omelette. Green omelette? Uh... <laughs> Seriously, on that thing? There's the mask from in episode 1. Oh, and they're playing the, the Dungeons and Dragons ripoff from uh, the Assault on Dragon's Keep from Borderlands 2. Oh, there, Scooter. Was Gordis driving? Uh oh. Wake up, Reese. <laughs> okay. And she still doesn't know. <laughs> Oh, they're adorable together. Oh, it's gold. And the music stopped. Again, a very funny intro. They do that extraordinarily well. So everybody appears to be sleeping, although Athena can't be sleeping straight up, can she? Hey there, buddy. Just check it in. Don't want to distract you from the victory lap. Should probably take another Vasquez is dead, but uh, just checking that you haven't told Athena uh, about me at all. Have you? No, I think that would be a bad idea. I don't intend to. I didn't intend to. Okay, great, good. So just keep that frame of mind, because if you do tell her, she'll just cut your head off before you can even explain yourself. Not exaggerate. She really, really doesn't like me. Okay, look. Can ah, from uh, the events from Borderlands pre sequel. Please. Who are you talking to? Uh, I. <laughs> he kind of ripped her off. Okay. Um, myself. Oh, you know, just just myself, just psyching myself up to find this fault. You know what I mean? All right. <clears throat> 
she seems to believe that a bit. I, I suddenly need to go to the roof. <laughs> she has one menacing look. If looks could kill, okay, Jack, I would have been dead you already. And I need to set some things straight. Oh man, can I just say, blasting those bandit douchebags in the tiny little pieces? <laughs> the best part of my day. I'm so happy. Thanks for giving me control of those drones, kiddo. You shot at oh my, my friends. Uh, might have found it more fun if you hadn't tried to, you know, kill my friends. Did I? Sorry about that. I, I must have gotten caught up in the moment. Uh, truth be told, kind of hard to tell friends from baddies out here. <laughs> you know, uh, y'all kind of look like bandits. It won't happen again. Right. I don't it know about that. Yeah, but let's put that behind us. Huh? It's time to look to the future. We're just two unstoppable, intelligent guys with great hair. Uh, you and I are going places, baby. High five. Ooh. Why is that guy talking to himself? He's <laughs> I do have great hair. High five, Jack. Oh, or trying to. Satisfying. Yeah, did not think of that. I did, but. Didn't want to miss anything. What? And I know I've done some kind of eh, things, but we're a team here, kiddo. And you can even ask Athena. I always look out for my team, so just asking you to trust me here. Hmm. We've got How are we so much ask in that? common. We're both ambitious. We're both super. <laughs> okay, high. that's a I blackmailed and murdered my way up the high period. Yeah, ladder. I can do that. You apparently, that sick vault key deal. Huh? Yeah, I trust you. Sure, let's just go with that. Mother! Oh, sorry. Got excited. I'll and he'll never say that. that again. But but that that's what I like to hear, buddy. You know, you've been good to me, kid. And, uh, Reese, Is he uh, you gave sitting me control on nothing? Well coiffed bread box. Trusted me when I opened up. I want to repay the faith. Okay. How can I help you? What do you want out of life? I could take you to the top. I just gotta um, know where the hell the top is. I want the vault. When we get to that vault and see what's inside. Ideally, with all my veins still hooked up. All right, this may or may not mean a lot coming from me, but I think you got what it takes, kid. You've done a pretty good job of not dying so far, and if you keep me in your corner, well, you'll not be dying all the way to the bank. I'll probably be protected by a big ass alien monster or something. Yes, well, that's the other few folks did. You're going places, kid. Can't Still wait don't know if he's there. actually based uh, on Jack, sorry again about could almost be killing your friend. somehow a bit different. Aside from his uh, character traits, I should say. Well, you two got pretty chummy. Are all your BFFs murderous monsters? Well... It wasn't easy anyways. Wow, nice. she looks mad. Can we just call it for the night? We're not gonna find anything in this light. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Gap fire. Great. I'm gonna know a bit more about this Your guy mask. now. What about it? It hides your identity. Congratulations. That is the definition of a mask. Yes. Hmm. What of it? So it implies recognize you? we would recognize you if you didn't have it on. Maybe it protects me. Maybe I just think it looks cool. Maybe I'm just crazy. Lots of possibilities there. Oh, I can tell you right now. It doesn't look cool. Noted. Okay. No, none of the lines I put you on make any sense without you either knowing us or needing us. It's compelling theory. How confident are you in this hunch? I'm guessing knowing us. What I mean is, do you care to make a wager? I don't make bets when I don't know the outcome. A Just wager? thinking out loud. You should do a little less of that. Tell me about the dome. I'm done talking for a while. He can fill you in. Hey! What? 
Who wants to know about the dome? Well, the, the dome? creepy part or the pretty part? All of it. Okay. Here we go.